uh, uh, so my whole my whole career, ever since I was four years old, is I, I want to be remembered. I want to leave a legacy. I want to be a, a star. Uh, and I know, just like climbing in Mount Everest, I, I have to take step by step by step by step, and I, until I reach the summit. And with fighting, I don't believe there is a an end an end. But I want to create uh, a, a legacy that's so high that no one can follow in my footsteps. I, I want to be the guy. I want to be an elite. I want to be one of the greatest ever. So that inspires me to want to keep fighting for as long as possible and uh, keep being victorious and keep keep uh, just in, enjoy the the wave. I, I, I love the sport like nothing compares. So I just want to inspire people to want to get into martial arts also. Uh, I feel rejuvenated. Uh, I recently uh, had a lot of problems with my hip. Uh, I, I, I had to retire end of uh, 2019. Um, and the pain was just too unbearable. And then I've had hip, hip, hip surgery. Uh, that was quite successful. I'm now 100% pain free. And I feel I have another, a second, second lease of uh, uh, continuing my career. I thought I was done, but now I have this, another opportunity to keep striving to be successful. So I'm so excited to uh, have this chance to fight for one championship. It's like a dream. So I'm, I'm super pumped to be here. I really want to be successful and I can't wait till the bell rings so I can put on a show for everybody. Oh yes, I've been looking at one championship for, for a rather long time now. Uh, so I started uh, Cage Muay Thai back in 2012. And then we did 10 shows that were very successful. They were, they were very popular. And then um, a few years later, one championship started incorporating uh, Cage Muay Thai into their promotion. So I was like, oh, wow. I, I can't believe my, my idea has gone worldwide now. It's uh, on the main stage. Uh, it's got a worldwide audience. Um, so my whole uh, desire is that one day, hopefully fight for one championship. And, and now it looks like uh, I've fulfilled that destiny. So uh, it, it's been a long time coming. Um, um, I thought I was done, and now they have the second chance to come back again and to, to fight for the one championship. A and doing cage Muay Thai is uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, in fact, I think it would have been rude if they didn't ask me to come and fight for them, considering this was all, all started from me laying in bed, wondering how I can fight in a cage in Muay Thai one day. So uh, I'm, I'm absolutely pumped to have this opportunity and uh, I promise I will do my best to make sure that I, I help get my hand raised at the end of the fight. That was amazing. Uh, I've been watching him for over 10 years now. Uh, I always thought our, our paths were going to cross somewhere along the line. Uh, it never eventuated until now. And then, um, yeah, I consider this uh, an, an amazing opportunity. I think he's awesome. Um, and just the fact that I get to share the cage with him is... Uh, is, is, is a compliment for, for myself because uh, and then uh, he, he's the one that called me out uh, I think it was about end of January early February uh, I was checking my Instagram and then I, I see that I'm being tagged in a post and all of a sudden Steve Holson uh, uh, challenging me it's like whoa I wasn't expecting this so um, for me it's an absolute honour to share the cage with him uh, win lose a draw I hope it's entertaining to the crowd uh, I'm going to do my best to win I'm sure he's going to do the same um, and long as I can put on an entertaining fight for everybody, uh, hopefully everyone will be happy. And then um, I want to show two things. I want to show one, that age is in the, a factor. And two, that just because you had uh, uh, major surgery doesn't mean life's over. It means it's just a hurdle and, until you get back on the uh, focused again and get back on the, uh, on the saddle. So um, I, I want to be the guy that says, oh, if he can do it, I can do it. So that's my whole in, in, inspiration for everyone out there watching. Yeah, it's very tough. Uh, Ursula's amazing. Um, he's so big. Uh, but yeah, it is um, it is what it is. Fighting is very difficult. Sometimes it goes your way. Sometimes one mistake and it's all, uh, it all doesn't go to plan. Um, but yeah, I'm, just because Nicky lost those doesn't mean he's not going to come out 100% against me. So I'm doing everything in my, in my power to make sure there's no mistakes. Um, yeah, and I, I really want to, uh, I, I was mentioning, yeah, you only get one chance to make a first impression and being my debut, I really want to put on an entertaining fight for everybody. And uh, what an opportunity to fight the number one guy in the world uh, to, to get welcome to the company. So I'm going to do my best to 
make it fun. Uh, I believe he's got very good boxing. He's very strong. He's uh, got a good eye, um, big heart, um, very aggressive. Uh, but my plan is to apply a lot of pressure um, to keep him on the back foot uh, and to hopefully, um, yeah, make him make him doubt himself, make make him. I, I want to drain him of pressure. I, I want to uh, give him no reprieve, no no chance to get a breath. I want to make sure that it's uh, three rounds of madness. Just so not only is everyone going to be entertained at home, but he's going to get to the stage where it's like, oh man, what are I going to make? What are I going to do to make this guy stop? So I've, I've trained for a hundred rounds. So three threes. Hopefully, I can I can just apply that pressure from the opening bill all the way to the final bill. Um, and my one of my main motto um, motivations is uh, I want to keep punching to the final bill. I don't want any any breaks. I want to make sure that um, it's entertaining until until the very end. I'm very lucky that uh, at the age of 19, I moved to Thailand. I, I was fighting guys with two, three hundred fights when he was when when I only had 20. Um, so when it comes to the guys, when it, when it comes to the fighting against guys with a lot of experience, um, I've I've been there so many times, and it, it's so scary and it's so uh, nerve wracking. Um, so I've been doing that ever since I was a kid, and now I'm 44. So uh, um, I've got to the stage now where it's like, uh, I'm used to adversity. I'm used to being the underdog. I'm used to being the guy that is not, isn't supposed to win. So uh, I, I really want to show that, all right, you're, you're amazing for some way. And just because you're awesome doesn't mean I can't beat you. Um, so I'm going to do my best, like I said, just to um, entertain and win. Oh, of course, uh, I feel the pressure every time. Um, and, and like I said before, this is my uh, debut. Um, I'm, I'm 44. I should have been done. I, I called retirement uh, a year and a half ago. Uh, and I've had the opportunity. Mr. Chattery asked me to come back to the company. Um, and I'm so, so honored that uh, he, he, he still um, believes in me. So I want to do one for myself. Uh, do two for Mr. Chattery. I want to uh, make him proud of me. And um, three, just for Australia as well. I want to show that uh, just because I'm old doesn't mean I'm done. I still have that same desire to be successful as I did when I was a, a teenager and a kid. So and my championship is 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 the promotion right now. So to be successful here, it's going to have a lot of uh, eyes, a lot of viewers, a lot of people that, that who, do, who don't know who I am. So this is my chance to introduce myself to the world. As, uh, I'm John Wayne Parr and I, I want to be the best. Uh, I think there's going to be like two old bulls. We're just going to uh, just ram each other until one of us uh, decides to to quit. Um, uh, I've trained hard. I, I really want this one. Like, I really want this one. I don't want to just be a number. I don't want to be a statistic. I, I want to be victorious. I want to be, I want to win. Um, um, it's, it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. He's, he's a great fighter, uh, but so am I. So it's going to be cool. It's going to be it's going to be one of those funds that where people are going to look back in ten years' time, and um, it's going to be a classic. So um, I'm super excited. I really want to do well, and whatever he brings, I'm happy to fight fire with fire. So it's going to be it's going to be one of those ones that you can't not tune into because it's going to be so cool. Uh, no, I like my tie. Uh, uh, MMA was. Uh, the flavor of the month there for a little bit, but uh, now the opportunities of the fight, uh, Cage my Tire for one is perfect. I, I don't have to do MMA anymore. Uh, I'm seeing guys like Rose Tongue and, and Stamp and everyone being successful, just competing in, 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 in stand up. So, so I don't have to change. I'm, I'm 44. Uh, I can't expect to uh, teach an old dog new tricks. So just keep doing what I'm doing. I, I know that I'm, I'm a threat to the elite and when it comes to stand up. So uh, why put myself in a situation where I'm, I, I could jeopardize my whole legacy in one MMA fight and get tapped out within the first 30 seconds and I think I'm gonna bum. But if I if I keep it uh, standing, uh, I'm willing to, to trade with everyone, anyone in the world at my weight. I, I don't care, I'm, I'm not afraid of anybody.